Hi, this is the second video of basic tutorial on electronics. The topics covered in previous video are In this video, we will see voltage, current, resistance, Ohm's law, conductance, and power. While exploring the world of electricity and electronics, it is important to understand the concept of voltage, current and resistance. Recalling the definition of electricity that is flow of electrons which generates electric charge. The basic principles of electricity can be explained as Current is rate of flow of charge. Voltage is potential difference between charges at two points. And Resistance is the characteristic of material to oppose or resist the flow of charge through it. Let's see these concepts in details. Voltage is a difference in potential. Where potential is, ability of charge to do work, by moving other charges by attraction and repulsion. Potential difference is abbreviated as, PD. The unit of potential difference or voltage is volt. Denoted as V. The unit. Volt is named for Italian physicist Alessandro Volta. Who invented first chemical battery. The voltage can also be called as electrical force or pressure, which is ratio of work or energy in joules and charge in coulombs. The concept of voltage can be best understood by the example of water container, where water acts like a charge and water pressure like a voltage. Current is total charge flowing through the conducting material in a period of time. It is measured in amperes. Abbreviated as amps. The current is denoted with the letter I. The unit, ampere is named for the French physicist André Marie Ampere. The current can also be called as strength at which charge is in motion. Which is the ratio of charge in coulombs to the time in seconds. More technically, 1 ampere is equal to 6.241 into 10 raised to 18 electrons per second, passing through a point, on conductor. Considering previous example of water container, if current is like a water flowing out of container, then increase in water pressure or voltage, will increase in water flow rate, that is current. Hence, voltage is directly proportional to current. Resistance is opposition to current. The resistance is denoted with letter R and is measured in ohm, denoted as Greek letter omega. The unit, ohm, is named for German physicist Georg Simon Ohm, who developed Ohm's law. More technically, resistance can be defined as if resistance between two points on an conductor is 1 ohm, then application of 1 volt will forces 6.241 into 10 raised to 18 electrons to flow. Consider two water containers. One with small and another with big tap for water to come out. The tap can be considered as a resistance to water flow. Then by comparing case 1 and case 2, we can say that for high resistance, current is low and vice versa. Hence resistance is inversely proportional to current. The Ohm's law describes the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. The Ohm's law equation can be remembered as The example demonstrates the use of Ohm's law to find out value of current. It is simply a capacity to conduct electricity. Conductance is denoted as letter G. And measured in Siemens denoted as letter S. The unit Siemens is named for the German inventor and industrialist Ernst Werner Siemens. He was also the founder of the electrical and telecommunications company Siemens. 
conductance can also be expressed as reciprocal of resistance. Hence, higher the resistance, smaller is the conductance and vice versa. According to the relation of resistance and conductance, the conductance can also measured in mo, that is, reciprocal of ohm. To understand the term, power, first we need to understand some physics terms like energy and work. Energy is ability to do any work, and is measured in joules, denoted as letter J. The electric power, denoted as P can be defined as the rate at which energy is converted, or transferred, or transformed, from one form to another. The example of energy transfer are light bulb, radio, falling water, etc. The electric power is a measure of how much and how fast energy is converted. The power can be expressed in terms of energy over a period of time. That is, joules per second. And joules per second is equivalent to watt. The unit, watt is used to measure electric power. Recalling the definitions of voltage and current. The power can be expressed in terms of combination of voltage, current, and resistance. Thank you for watching the video. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe this channel. You may contact at email ID mentioned here. Stay connected. Goodbye.